So today is September 25th, Saturday evening. I'm a back test GJ. I have back testing pairs here. Um, I'm a back test GJ. We're going to take trades from the 15 minute time frame. Not a real account back testing journal, um, but we're going to track the profit and loss just based off of um, lot size taken. Um, I'm going to track RR and number of pips gained or lost. So, um, all right. So let's get to back test and I'm going to drop down first. I'm a high price. Drop down to the 15 minutes since that's the lowest time frame that we will go in back test today. Try to just go back in time, see how far it goes. November 20th. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at a lot, uh, a lot further than I thought. So, sounds good to me. All right. So, November 20th. So, uh oh, now let's go to the daily to build a bias. So, ooh, big push down. So, I had a humongous push down. Rally back up, taking out lows, took out lows, took out lows, took out lows, trying to rally back up. Uh, to continue taking out lows, probably. Um, all right. Let's do it. All right, so what we're going to do right now is just mark out our uh, demand zones that we see. Uh, and actually here too, some gap it looks like. some supply zones right here and right here. Did this get mitigated? It somewhat got mitigated. All right. I have to remember lowest time frame that we're going to go down is the 15. So this is a S and D as well. Kind of get mitigated though, All right? So does this one. I'll leave it for now. We we'll, we we'll tighten these up, like um, straighten up these a little better as we dip down. All right. Trying to build a bias. This one looks fine. This one here mitigated and uh, mitigated. I actually take that one off. Uh, Down move before the other move. Uh, we somewhat mitigated. I see this. That's money. Okay, they come up here. So, right now, look, in the way that I'm reading price, instead of broke structure here, made a high, retraced filled in a lot of this imbalance in this candle. Um, more than 50%, yeah, more than 50%, right? Because it came down here and filled in, right? Um, so I think it's gonna come here to bounce up, take this out and start mitigating more of this S and Z. Uh, uh, SZ, sorry, <laughs> supply zone. All right, 
not much refinement that I can do here, so I feel like this. Right. All right. Side four like this. I don't know if I like that, but we'll go with it. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. I do see a 2.0, All right? It was mitigated a little. See this here as well. Process of being mitigated now. Drop down to the six. Yeah. Actually, like this one. This was mitigated, mitigated. Came here, nothing touched that. And I actually like this right here. Okay, this one is six hour. I hate this, so I'm gonna delete that right now. Don't like that. Um, that was mitigated. This is a wick. That's unmitigated right now. Let's drop down to the four, see what we see. I like this one a lot. is still here so either we we'll stop somewhere here or go up top right so it has some displacement here though I do see that so I have some displacement here I think it seems like it want to come here push down to push up more right so push down I have some displacement see that with but I don't, I don't like what I see um, I do like this now so I do like this metal zone now that we drop down to the two okay See this? No, two. All right. This sometimes is confusing for me. So I see a break right here, and then I see another break up here. All right. But maybe it was because of this. Try to tap in some of this supply up here on the two hour. running lows here so that's my target all right try to run lows if I want to trade so I'm I'm, I'm bare um sorry I'm bullish bias right because I'm looking forward to take out this up here that's my main uh, here here and then start probably retracing here to continue up down to the one. All right. Okay. like this entire zone so I may leave um, yeah, I may leave 
release that. I like how it turns on. So now, let's go down to the 15 and see what we see. So I see some MBs, right? See this. It's validated here, all right? And I see this. validated this MB yet, but we have validated this one overall. And this is another MB, but it's inside of this one. So I don't know if I really want to respect that. But this is our time frame that we're trading from, 15 minutes. Because we're bullish bias. Right. My goal is to just trade stop this at the bottom of the MB and looking forward to take out these highs. Um I wanna wait though for confirmation. I wanna to try to trade like how I trade for real. So, oh, validated it. So this MB is not validated. Push up. Um, I do see a level inside. That is untouched. So is this one untouched. So is this one untouched. Uh, all right, this is interesting. So actually it was validated and touched. So mit somewhat mitigated, right? Did mitigate. So um, I think it's going to blast. That's my target. I want to validate and confirm this, All right? But let's, let's take the trade. So extreme push down, though, right? try to learn some things to on this one so I see that this is going down where are we on the hour the hour and the right the respect on that high that low rather sorry
That's absolutely insane. Almost. In no man's land right now. I mean, you can technically do this, right? So, have this kind of mitigated there. Then you have this push up. I wouldn't trade this, but I would trade this. And it kind of made relative equal highs, right? So, Biases, right? Didn't come down deep like I wanted it to, but. Action from. I see that one. I see this one. Um, this was kind of mitigated, but not at a 50%. this okay so we may come back up and try to tap in this 50 percent in this right here. Take that low. So we're on. All right, minus 11.
missed it. So tap there. All right. We tap there right here. And at 10 pips, I will uh, place my stop to break even. How I trade is at 10 pips, I place my stop to break even, and I typically take 90% profit right at 10 pips when I'm trading. That's standard across my, my trading rules, but I'm not going to trade like that today, but I will um, put my stop at break even. Stop is at break even. When we stop that, it'll be oh, loss, loss, win. B. So now we are here taking a total of 20 trades. So, all right, so it's respect. That one. Ooh. All right, so order flow is not going down there. It actually is going to the top side. Maybe they appear to have a reaction off of this refined 15 minute area. See what happens here. Um, I would have been looking for a trade here um, if it would have confirmed, but it didn't confirm. It just blasted through. So um, not looking for a trade, but I am looking forward to go to the top side still. I do see that little demand. All right. So I think I am going to take this to the upside here. It looks like it may be ready. I think that's 84, right? mitigating sire.
let's see what she do. Give it on. <laughs> Minus. Goodness. Yeah. Minus one. 3.7 pips. Yeah. This is not looking good. Um, so where are you going? So it's running lows. Then, right? Should have known that way back here. That it was running lows. Ran that low, came back up, filled in some of this imbalance, started going low to the bottom side. So it probably, it's probably coming down to here. of the expectation that it's going to hold this to run the high. Guess it didn't. Had a reaction here. But it did not hold. this demand zone here from the original point. Remember this navigation too. confirm it before I jump in it, right? Okay, so liquidated came up with that.
sure if I had to put my stock below the MB. Okay. It would have held at 50%. big of a stop 44 pips though but let's move I stop the break here I don't like that stop I don't like how big that is dude this plus 55 pips 1.4% trades how many trades we we're taking 20 sorry so hitting number seven right now And it is still up, right? So, 
holding this that low, holding it low. So far holding this low. up here so it may come here now to push up let's see oh my goodness Man, no respect for that one respect for that one. I do see that MD here. So it looks like I hit him down to here. See if we get rid of it. See if we get an entry. stops to like 20 pips is too much for me so I might use this as my stop I know I should use the top of the MB though. so let's use the top of the MB okay This stuff be absolutely crazy. Let's <laughs> see, minus 18.7. So, yeah. Minus mm, 18.7. Stuff be absolutely crazy, man. Like, right. ridiculous. What, what do I not see? Imbalance over here. We can't even feel it. And then, okay, so it came back to feel the rest of this imbalance on this side. Reaccumulated right here. Broke up, came back, and then it went up. Ah, the imbalance here. Look to confirm here. Actually, that's a lot too. I want to test, test, truthfully. So I don't need that little bit of time. Man, I need to get an entry. I want to drop. Come on and drop. How do you know? Because I see this MB right here. MB validated. Double MB. And it went. Like, went. <laughs> Kept going. Non-stop. not validating deep within these MBs.
次です。See, this is new. I never take my entries off of 15, so this is a learning process for me. break even though Smash and how many books? Wait, what? 14.34% gain. So, phenomenal gain. But, is that 265 pips? Sixty-five pips. So up ten percent on that count right now. And um, the way that I would trade, I'll just trail my stop, really. So I wouldn't just take TP right there. I would have been to taking um. 90% profit at 10 pips, like I said before. Uh, and then right here, my stop would be here or underneath the low. Probably right here, though, underneath that last swing. Uh, but anyway, so that got me in. This got, all oh, that got about, got, uh, mitigated, violated, however you want to put it. So... This is the next high right there. So order flow is fairly bullish. I don't think we I don't know though. Let's see. <laughs> All right. So we are coming back into here. Try putting putting the stop loss underneath the MBs. That's a big stop, man. I wouldn't have a stop no greater than 
10, way less than 10 pips, man. T typically, my stops when I trade are like five pips or less. So, I just don't like that stop. <laughs> like, I hate it. Absolutely hate it. But I do notice on a 15 minute chart, what I'm noticing on a five minute chart is not so, not that much. Uh, don't doesn't happen often, right? So on a five minute chart, if we can imagine that this was a five minute chart, and I still had the zone drawn up like that, the stop would be like right here, and it wouldn't violate it as much, right? With like seven pips, five pips, three pips, stop loss. But on a 15 minute, I'm noticing that you have to put your stop beneath or above, right? Depending on my sale, but I have to put it beneath the MB. So something I am noticing. Um, but 10 pips in, right? So already this is at, that was 45 pips, right? 43 pips. Yeah, almost 45, 43 pips. I, I would have taken 90% again, um, compounded my account. So 90% at 10 pips and left 10% running. Um, all right, let's play this up. Stopped out. So I would have been at B E though. I forgot to put that here. Sorry. So I would have been at B when I got stopped. So no game. B <laughs> B. Um. I do see an MB here though. I do see the MB there. I don't know how low it's gonna go, but I will target this low here. Don't think it's gonna go that low. I actually think it's going to come down and feel some of that imbalance right here and then shoot back up. That's what I'm noticing with GJ. So, that was my entry there at 50%, right? So, it actually would have tagged in. I forgot to put my entry over here. Put a tag in here. Stop. 18 pips, man. It... Sorry. I had just wide of a pips. <laughs> Stop loss. Just... I don't like it. Um, but I think it's going to feel this this imbalance here and then shoot up. So, and right now, I will be at. Um, Break even. Uh, it dropped down this low, had some displacement. I will be at break even right now. It probably stopped me out nine times out of ten. So let's go to B. Again, I would have taken 90% profit. So, um, but break even. And really, I should target this low. Um, but anyway, stop me out. because of had some more that to get some liquidity and then drop. <laughs> Break up, all right? 
They were going to the top side now. So we respected a low. Then feel all of this imbalance down here so we can potentially drop back down. So, sorry. So this is really London open. Uh, around at 3 o'clock. Oh, crap. I'm on a one hour. I did this crap again. Did it again, yo. It's both me taking trades. Off the 15 on. Don't do stop orders, but whatever. I'll limit order center. All the way to the top side. That's what I'm taking. Total of 129 pips. Didn't tap me in. So, get out of this. Do see this MB here overall MB, right? That little baby wing that violated, mitigated, however you want to see it. 50%, it's not taken yet. So I see all these MBs, MB here, if I want to go with that one, but this is going, I hate this, I don't like that, so I may stay out of this, I don't like that. GJ moves quite differently on the 15 of me. <laughs> Not the same. I don't, it could move the same to everybody else, but for me, it moves different. Um, did it tap into 50%? Did it tap into 50% overall for the MB? How? Uh, okay. So if I would have done the MB, I would have had better risk to reward. Slightly better risk to reward. Slightly. Better risk to reward ratio. Um, it did not, oh, did not respect anything here. Probably this unmitigated right there, right? So I would have bring this to here. It tapped the beginning of that and then shot up, which makes sense, right? So it was unmitigated. It had inefficiency between here. Came and feel that inefficiency and shot up, but that was not my entry. But I do see where I could have 
been better uh, with the entry. Uh, so it's all good. Anyway, 2.65% gain, 62 pips profit. See those? All right. So I'll call that a day. I see this MB. Boom here. All right. I see my new target running high. efficiency right here so I was reading well I have it on pod I'm not podcast um, audio book but was listening to the complete turtle trader and they say trade with your rules right regardless of the fact basically we just be robots so this right here is a robotic trade and it's gonna violate. So we'll just move it. Come here. And I doubt it comes back down, right? I doubt it comes back down. It'll probably come here, but I'm gonna leave it right here. Okay. Tapped here, but it didn't tap that 50%. And um, I'm, uh, I, I would like to see, so I'm going to be patient. And we may not get an entry though. All right, so it's on. And we have minus 22, I say 23 pips. I say, uh, um, Trend. Kind of figured I wasn't gonna. That rodeo won't gonna last too long. So this MB is invalid now. Complete and ultimate mitigation. So we're bullish though, man. Right, so if I go back to the four hour, we straight bullish. Right, I'll come back here to the four hour. I see, and let's move this down actually here. But I see a demand on, and honestly, I don't like where that is. <laughs> So I probably would choose this big one. Um, but I see it, right? So in the four hour time frame, I see that I see less up move before the down move up at the top. So this is my POI right there. And it's my next stop. Drop back down to the 15. See what I'm looking at. Oh, yeah. See what we got up here. Oh, yeah. So it's probably coming down to here to run those highs, all right? Um, yeah. 
Are you gonna go up? If you're not, then that's a little bit too. Alright, so we down here in the demand now. So I'm here. top side right see this is more like my trade 4.5 pips but we'll see all right liquidate it all those right pre liquidation here this may be the move actually right here to continue to push up so bullish all right water flow look to have shifted we go to the north side up here so um i don't see an entry yet for me i don't see an entry criteria See this? I do see that. Drop right down to the 15. Yep, I see it. I see it. I see it. I see you. football Saturday and I've got not one entry what are we looking at what are we looking like on the four hour what do we see um, so I see that 